Greetings, Wastelanders, and welcome to another settlement video. Today, as you can see from the title, we are at the Taffington Boathouse, which uh, doesn't really look like a boathouse, but uh, trust me, it's it's still there. Uh, so I spent uh, quite a bit of time on this place. I've been back and forth numerous times trying to figure out what in the world to do with this place. Um, I used a mod that repaired the house and brought it back to its uh, pre-war splendor, basically, and then uh, went from there. So as you can see uh, around the outside, we have a heck of a wall going around this place and some pretty massive uh, metal doors that um, sadly don't open much. So that's uh, that's what you get there, just basically uh, aesthetic, uh, kind of create the uh, image of, you know, ultimate protection. Uh, so right inside, um, a couple of uh, guard houses on this side over here, one all the way on top, one down here. Uh, over here, same thing, one on uh, each corner, so to speak. Um, inside, I put uh, some beds and a couple of guard mats and assigned guards to them, but uh, for some reason, they all like to hang around at uh, the boathouse, so I just uh, ignore it let it be. Uh, same thing up here. Um, I actually created uh, this little spot right here with all these uh, rocks here um, just to try to make the, uh, the ladders, walkways, whatever you want to call them, stairwells uh, work and kind of function, so... Um, scrapped a whole bunch of stuff that was here and then put in a whole bunch of my own fake rocks to, to make that work. Uh, up here, some basic uh, little protection, a whole bunch of spikes out there to keep anybody from reaching the guardhouse. Um, there was actually supposed to be a bed up here, but it looks like I forgot to, uh, to put one. But uh, yeah, everything's done with um, stacked stone, basically. Uh, I got walkways going through pretty much the entire wall section, and uh, right here you can actually see the entire settlement that I've built. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, all else we got here. Um, down in here, I'm using the mod grounded to get the grass effect, and then I'm using the same texture pack for concrete to create these kind of uh, retaining walls. Um, I used that for the retaining walls as well as building of the actual, like, uh, full on protective wall all the way around the entire place uh, down here I got a little metal ramp that leads up into this one again there's another bed um, we got those bad guys up there but uh, nobody's here to shoot at them so uh, that is where my water comes from I tried to put an enclosure around that but uh, it just didn't work every time I got about three quarters of the way through with it the uh, the game would crash it really didn't like me doing anything in that spot probably because that's a bad guy spawn area so uh, I built this building myself, um, wasn't sure why in the beginning until I got about three quarters of the way through and then I decided that this is going to be a hydroponics lab basically. Uh, all of the uh, food for the entire settlement is all grown here in water. Uh, I put down these floors, I had to use the place anywhere tool to glitch those down and then glitch all the plants down in place so that uh, they're actually being grown uh, here hydroponically. Uh, we got some fully stocked uh, tables out there for gardening, going around, and I put up uh, pink, purple lights, whatever, to kind of create uh, the effect of UV lights. Uh, I did that with my Vault uh, 88 build, I believe it was. Uh, same kind of thing where I had um, an underground growing area for food and whatnot. So yeah, you can see uh, we do uh, produce some water that's not really that well protected, but uh, it is what it is. Um, a little rowboat here, a couple of houses out uh, this way. Uh, each one of them, the only way you can access them is through uh, rowboats, basically. Uh, so yeah, for the actual boathouse here, um, like I said, I used a mod that uh, basically rebuilt it from scratch to uh, make it all nice looking. And then I used uh, the mod grounded to put in this little uh, walkway here, sidewalk, whatever you want to call it, and put in some grass. And even though I took out all of the uh, food and moved it they still kind of garden and then everybody just kind of stands in that one spot I don't know why but it's what they do uh, in here uh, the floor has all been replaced I think initially this is all like missing uh, because this is actually supposed to be the boathouse but um, the mod that I used uh, replaced it so I uh, just stuck all the smithing and armor stuff and chem stuff in there uh, these gates do not function sadly 
Uh, out here, some basic lights. Like I said, the house was pretty much done. Uh, I just did the decorating, and actually if you can hear some weird funky music, uh, you'll see what that is in a moment. Um, couches, uh, a whole bunch of furniture in here, uh, some of these paintings and whatnot is all part of the, um, not the mods, but the, the other one whose name escapes me at the moment. Um, where I can get all these kinds of special things. They had a sale uh, a couple of months ago with um, a few things being offered for free. So you got like the uh, Nuka Cola pack, which uh, gives you that there, and the plates and uh, all these paintings and whatnot. And once this guy gets out of the way, you also get access to this to arcade games. And yes, you can actually play them. So just like uh, doing stuff on your Pip Boy, you can actually play these games. Um, Took me a while to learn out how to play. I think it was this one. I kept dying because I couldn't figure out, or no, that one, because I couldn't figure out what the heck to do. But finally figured it out. Uh, up here, again, some more furniture, basic furniture, living space. Uh, kept it fairly simple. Uh, now across the street is where I did uh, a lot of new stuff here. Um, again, I had the retaining walls and the faux grass. Uh, I made one of my um, block stairwells here. Um, love doing that kind of stuff and again all the textures for this is all part of uh that pack that i ended up downloading same thing with uh here with the grounds uh got ourselves a nice little bar with some spirits and fully stocked uh all kinds of beverages uh in here we have the master bedroom and another painting another bed and then in here we have the master bath something uh, i played around with i put a shower in here and then put down a nice little pebble floor uh i used the place anywhere tool to kind of uh glitch that into place uh just something new that i decided to try that uh, i was having a little fun with and then out uh, here living space got the kitchen looking all uh basically brand new so uh, I guess this is all brand new construction. Uh, door that leads out back doesn't really show much of anything except for dead grass. And in here we have just a, another basic little bedroom. Alright, so moving right along. Uh, again, all this stuff came from the same thing, which is uh, the Creation Club. That's what I couldn't think of for whatever reason off the top of my head. But like I said, uh, a little while ago they had a sale on uh, some different things for texture packs for uh, new furniture, um, all these new panels, which uh, thankfully they do snap together. Um, so it's basically just the same as working with any normal building materials. Uh, the one thing that doesn't work is the roof. Um, all these roof sections I had to put in myself by using the Place Anywhere tool. I had to line one up uh, right on the corner and then get them all to snap in because they won't uh, click into place with any of these uh, packs or anything like that from the Creation Club. And then over here, another house, same exact thing, put in some bushes, my own little stairwell. Uh, in here we have our kitchen and uh, dining area, living room, and I even put in a wood fireplace. We got some wood over here on the side for burning, uh, some papers, and I actually did put some uh, fire in there. You can actually see a little bit of flame. I'm just using the campfire, which is why you can kind of see these rocks sticking through. Uh, I couldn't get them to hide any more than they already were. So it is, uh, is what it is. Um, I decided to do this raise because I was trying to hide some of the grass that sticks up here, but I just couldn't get rid of all of it. Um, here's another little thing too. Um, not sure which pack uh, gives me this, but uh, I have all the different mods that I use for this kind of stuff in the description. Um, but this one gives you the appearance of having a refrigerator that's fully stocked, which is really, really cool. And in here, just uh, another basic living room. Again, same textures as uh, all the other ones, including... Uh, a map that looks kind of funny from a distance, at least it does on my TV anyway. <laughs> Alright, so moving along. Uh, now we have a whole bunch of cottages that I decided to build out here in the water. Um, these are the ones I did initially, once I was trying to figure out what in the world to do with it. Um, kind of just went with a water people type theme, I guess you can say. And so with the exception of uh, this little cottage right here, all of them are, are only accessible uh, via boat. Uh, same thing in this one, I used uh, just the regular shack uh, foundation floors with the uh, the wood stilts underneath them and then put in all these uh, new texture packs that I was working with. Um, that's part of the fully stocked shelf thing that I'm always talking about. Uh, threw in basic fireplace, cooking stove, some beds, and uh, again the roof. Uh, these pieces do not uh, click into these ones, so uh, if you decide you want to do something like this, um, you're going to need the place anywhere tool. 
Uh, it does come with like these ceiling sections that you can use, but it's all flat. You're not going to get anything that has like any dimension to it uh, like that up there. Um, over here, I kind of rebuilt this whole section myself just because of the height of this was going to leave it all kind of funky looking with um, these uh, wooden, not wooden, but concrete texture pack things would be sticking down way too far and just look kind of funny. So threw in some mud, threw in some rocks some grass and whatnot to, to cover it all up. And then over here we have the other two cottages. Uh, this one I initially had set up with uh, a see-through floor. I had done one of the ones that had all the gratings on the bottom, but I couldn't for the life of me think of why that would be. So I ended up just uh, getting rid of it and throwing in uh, a regular one. Uh, this one I just stuck with regular um, barn, but textured uh, walls on this one. And just kind of created a little scene for a mad scientist type person. Uh, some foods and again, another Nuka-Cola fridge. Um, Oh, even got a nuka cola clock up there. And then moving along, here's our last little cabin here. Uh, I actually did run into a major glitch with the Creation Club stuff. Um, I had finished this site and went on to the next one, which I'll be showcasing next time. And it gave me corrupted saves, and I ended up losing several hours worth of gameplay off of the next location that I'll be doing on my next Sunday. Um, and when looking into it, uh, I saw a lot of people warning about using Creation Club stuff that it can mess with your saves like that. So I will advise you guys if you're going to do with it, um, just be careful. Just every once in a while create a brand new save instead of overwriting because you can potentially lose a lot of stuff like I did. So uh, be careful with that. Um, so you're only probably going to see the Creation Club stuff in this video and the next one. And then I'm probably not going to be using it anymore just simply because of what it did to my game. And I'm just... Don't want to lose any of it anymore, so. Uh, but in here, again, basic, uh, nice little living space. Uh, simple folk, I guess you can say. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So one of the big things that I had decided I really wanted to do with this location um, yes. is branch out across the water. And so for that, as you can see, I built a bridge going clear across the river. Uh, we have foundations here to help support it all. Uh, threw in some lights to help guide the way. Uh, this was quite the undertaking to make it all line up just perfectly and spaced out just right, but uh, well worth the, the effort there. Uh, right on the other side, if you're familiar with this location, is that small little neighborhood uh, that's basically taken over by the super mutants. Um, they do not come over this way. They don't interact with uh, this community at all unless I happen to walk over there and then they all start shooting and coming. But just to be safe, I uh, decided to put up some gates and put a whole bunch of turrets here. Um, this is all built by me, this little surround here with uh, the curbs and everything. I decided to put that in to kind of make this look like it was purposeful instead of um, a road that went straight through that was just kind of like a, an ending, a landing, who knows, whatever. Maybe this bridge was always here. Uh, go through the gate here. You can see the community I'm talking about straight over there. There is actually a super mutant sitting right up there. So I'm going to shoot at him, get him all excited. Maybe they'll come this way and get shot in the face. Who knows? Uh, so anyway, uh, over here, um, if you've ever been around an ocean town, uh, you'll know that in some places they actually have little docking areas out in the middle of the water that are not connected to anything. That's for bigger boats to go to. And then you take a little boat to, to get out to those docks and then you can take your big boat uh, out onto the ocean and so i kind of like that idea so i threw a couple of them out there uh, this guy's got this dock here and that one's out there and whenever that person wants to get out to it they just take their little rowboat head on over and they can go head out uh, over here we have the other side with uh, our gated not really gated walls but uh, this one actually did finish the uh, the little gatehouse if you want to call it that putting in the, some of the extra decorations uh, a couple of guard towers. I had originally planned to put some big doors there as well, but uh, just decided against it. Uh, figured I'd leave one side open and just have a bunch of turrets out there to protect it. Um, wasn't quite happy with the way this had turned out originally. It just looked kind of out of place to not have something here, so I threw in a second guard house, um, which led into this basic long walkway. And I decided to turn this into essentially... Um, a drawbridge slash kind of like dam almost in a sense and you can see we got a boat here waiting to come in and this is all opened up so when he wants to come in you can open the doors and 
pretend, I guess, that this lifts up. Uh, this is also a hydroelectric plant right here. Uh, we have a whole bunch of generators down in here. Uh, again, you can see all through the floor into the water. Um, another generator here, some fake pipes and whatnot going around this place. Uh, these are all connected, but they do not actually supply uh, any electricity to the community. This is all basically for show. Um, I'm using the wireless fuse box that provides all the power to the place. And down here you can actually see my little mini turbine thing that I've uh, kind of put in there to kind of create the effect of um, a hydroelectric plant. So you can see it's in there and it spins and sort of creates the illusion that the current is uh, making it spin and actually doing something when, you know, it's not. Uh, again, use the Place Anywhere tool to kind of glitch that guy into place. Um, this wall goes all the way straight all the way over here and just kind of ends. Threw in a couple more turrets just so that they could uh, shoot at those guys if they do show up. These actually have gone off a few times because they do somewhat approach this area. And so there you have it. This is uh, Taffington Boathouse. Uh, I spent a lot of time at this place because I've had to rebuild it. Like I said, uh, the Creation Club kind of broke it on me and I ended up having to rebuild a good chunk of it. Uh, it was actually really weird in what it did. It uh, took out probably about the last... Uh, section of the bridge over there and half of one of those houses and some other stuff and uh, I don't know why it did that. Uh, what I forgot to point out over here is we actually have a couple of more little houses that I use for some of the pre-war houses that uh, come with like USO and whatnot. So I just use these to kind of fill in some space and then I put in uh, my own uh, sidewalk basically. Um, that little rock I put in place just to kind of uh, cover up that edge so it didn't look so unnatural. Um, but we have the sidewalk here. I put in grass all the way around the houses as best I could um, to kind of make it look uh, natural, I guess you can say. Um, didn't do much for decorating inside these because if you use any of these pre-made uh, full houses, um, you can't really do anything unless you put down a whole bunch of nav mesh mats or use the Place Anywhere tool to put just about every single thing in here. With the exception of things that you might hang on the wall or ceiling, those will clip fine, but anything you want to place on the ground, um, this is not considered real ground and it won't let you. So I just did basic decorations in here, nothing too too fancy. Uh, same thing with this one because it's the same exact thing. Uh, it's a whole pre-made thing, so I just kind of glitched a few things into place, um, put some lights, and I had intended to do a little more decorating, but it just it was going to be too time-consuming. Um, so I just kind of left it. It's That's up to you if you want to do this type of thing and spend a lot of the time doing it. That's that's fine. I've done it before where I've decorated the entire house, but uh, most of the time I usually just leave these kind of empty and just use them as kind of fillers. Uh, so over here, I made it look like the sidewalk had kind of crumbled and fall uh, fallen away. Uh, I used a couple of different sidewalk textures to throw these little random blocks in here and put uh, this grass and whatnot in here as well so that it looks like it was initially supposed to keep going down that way towards all my steps and uh, eventually, you know, after 200 years, it crumbled and disintegrated into what you see there. So there you go, that's the now completed tour of Taffington Boathouse. Uh, again, I used Creation Club for a lot of this. Um, I warn against doing that. Um, if you're going to, if you want to, that's perfectly fine. Just uh, be really careful with your saves uh, if you have the PlayStation Plus thing. I suggest uh, after you get a good save, definitely uploading them just in case they uh, become corrupted on you. And there you go. I will see you guys in the future. Until then, don't get irradiated.